Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back with a vehicle build. This is a build that I've wanted to do for actually quite a while now. It is a Kamaz Rally truck. This thing is an absolute beast. And I really got inspired to build this uh, when we played in Brick Rigs the other day with the Rally Canyon race that we did. And we actually used one of these. And I thought, man, this would be awesome to build here in Scrap Mechanic. So yeah, if you have any other suggestions for any vehicle builds, comment below. We will be returning to a new world very soon. I haven't still decided what I'm going to do, but we will be doing a new theme very soon in Scrap Mechanic also. But anyways, let's jump right into these creations. Okay, so we have three of these here. I'm going to give you guys a little view of the paint jobs. Now, there is a difference between two of these. Uh, these two over here, they're actually the same, just different paint jobs. But this one over here is a bit of a laggy beast. Now, something that I've been experimenting with, and I actually had to go onto the workshop to find a couple models that I could uh, work with, is a wishbone suspension. It's something that I've always wanted to do and put on a lot, a lot of my vehicles. But there is one downside to it, and it's this. That is a whole lot of bearings in these suspension pieces. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a... Maybe a little bit more of a simple way to do it. Uh, this is like a double wishbone setup. And this one lags a lot. That's why it's on the lift. Now we will try this one out because it does drive fantastic. But I really wish Scrap Mechanic was just a bit more optimized uh, before we can actually take this thing out fully and not have to worry about the uh, game lagging. So the other version that I have over here does have the wishbone suspension in the back. It's a little less complicated than the front one. But it has a traditional, we'll call this an old Komodo suspension up here. It's just a two suspension piece setup, and it comes down into the steering. Now, I probably could get away with just one piece, but I think the two piece looks pretty cool. So we've got that on these other ones here. So let's go ahead. We're going to explore these two over here first. And then towards the end, when we're doing our test drives, we will take this one out and play with it a bit. We will just have to deal with the lag, though. Okay, so I know I have some viewers that are race fans, and this vehicle is a purpose-built race vehicle. It's a rally vehicle. They run these a lot of times in the Dakar Rally. I believe these things have something like 900 plus horsepower. It's absolutely insane. I highly suggest watching a video of these things run. Now, I've got two of them over here. This one is the one that I was actually modeling after a real one. It's a, the Red Bull Kamaz race team. I believe it's a Russian-based team I actually do think this brand is a Russian based brand but yeah I'll probably flash a little reference image up in the top right here that way you can get an idea as to what I was building now I have gone pretty good in detail here there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood there's a lot of features to this vehicle and it feels really good doing this again in scrap mechanic because it's been a while since I built a really detailed vehicle so let's go ahead and just pop this thing open so it's got two buttons here now, these things run in rallies, so this vehicle has to be kind of self-sufficient. So if you pop this open here, you've basically got a little bit of a mobile workshop. So you've got that, and you've also got this button here, and pop that forward, and boom, that goes forward too, so you can actually have more access to the uh, engine compartment. Now this one over here, oh, actually, you know what, I've got the version out that has the wishbone suspension here in the front too. So I'm getting a little bit of frame rate loss. Let's go ahead and set this one over to the side. I've got a version of this paint job with the uh, normal suspension on it. Uh, let's go ahead and just pop this one open here. Uh, we'll remove this one over here. I do like the paint job a lot, even though it's kind of blocky, but that's what we deal with in Scrap Mechanic. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this one, and we'll check out the Komodo Special Edition of this vehicle. So let's hop into the back. So say you're in the rally, you bust out a tire or you break down, you can always pull over to the side of the road, open this up. You've got toolboxes back here, you've got access to spare tires, batteries, uh, you've got the fuel cell, which I believe is back here. I was actually looking at a couple diecast models of the, they had a couple that had these open and I could really see on the inside. So I believe this is actually fairly accurate. I know sometimes uh, they will have like a dividing wall and you'll have like tools on one side and maybe something on the other, but there's a couple that were open like this. So we've got that, you've got some of the roll bars in here. Uh, you can see the engine, I'm using the Lord Payne, he's got like a modular engine parts that you can stick together and make it look like a big awesome engine, so that's what I've got going on here. 
So you've got that. Uh, the exhaust comes out the side here. Uh, definitely using those. I forget the name of the person who made these. I'll, I'll have all the workshop links down in the description because it's. I'm using three sets of mods. I'm using the Durf mods, a couple Lord Payne, and whoever makes the exhaust mod, which I do apologize for forgetting their name. But yeah, you've got that. Uh, this here actually I believe is like an intake. These pipes going up here and they go down into the engine. If you look up right towards the top, you can see it looks like two little uh, scoops. So I'm assuming air goes down into those and goes down into and feeds into the engine. Uh, I'm only assuming that I'm not 100% sure, but from what I could tell that's possibly what that was. So yeah, you've got that. You can see like the transmission down here. And get a little bit better view of the suspension setup, the radiator in the front. I uh, just overall really happy with the detail in this vehicle. So let's go ahead and get rid of the lift here. So when we're ready to go, you can close this from the inside of the cockpit or you can just hit this switch here. Uh, this also does have a back switch. So say if you want to just use the back doors, you hit those and you have access to that. So let's go ahead and close that. Suspension setup wise, what are we set at here? I normally set it fairly low in the back. so. I like a lot of travel in the back suspension. I think that's good there. Fronts, I'm pretty sure we're set right around well, six on that side. Should be six all around, maybe fives over here. Okay, I've got five and six. Those might cancel each other out a bit, but it looks cool. So yeah, we're almost ready to test drive this thing. Let's go ahead and put the cab back down. Oh, right here, there we go. I might have deleted a block there for some reason, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the inside real quick. Now, I won't go in detail on all the vehicles since we have three of them uh, because most of the visual aspects of it are the same. It's really the driving aspects that are different. So let's go ahead and open this up here. I do want to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian. Uh, he helped out with the interior. He also put some sweet blinkers on here. Uh, a lot of these are really going to be driving around in the middle of nowhere. So it might be night. Uh, you definitely need some hazards and stuff if you break down. So we will, I'll show those here in a second. But anyways, here on the inside, uh, this is fairly accurate to the way these things look. Uh, you've got three seats. I believe the right seat's probably a co-driver. The middle seat is going to be, I want to say maybe a maintenance guy. Could be a relief driver. Now, when I say co-driver, it's the guy with the board that names off, like if they're going down a course, he knows the course ahead of time. So he's kind of naming off what's coming up. And of course, we've got the main driver right here. Let's go ahead and set it on the inside. Take a look at the interior. It looks pretty detailed. Uh, happy with the way this thing came out. Uh, you've got everything from all these dials and switches. I think most of these actually work. So anyways, I think we're ready to go ahead and take this one out for a little bit of a drive. And then we'll pull the other ones back out. All right, as far as buttons here, your one key is your left blinker. Your two key is your right blinker. Your three key is your hazard lights. 4 key is the door, 5 key you can actually open the sides up from here, uh, 6 key is the back opening up, so let's go ahead and close those, and your 7 key is your light bar here. So let's go ahead and give this thing a little bit of a test drive. This thing actually drives fairly well for its size. It could always drive better. I could probably put like a suspension glitch on it or something, but honestly I didn't want to do that with this. I wanted to keep this a little bit more of a pure scrap mechanic creation without the glitches. Now one thing I might do, which is not really realistic to this vehicle, I could always add four wheel steering to make the turning radius a bit sharper, but honestly I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm actually happy with the way it turns here and actually, oh, whoa, oh, I think we might have glitched a part. Yeah, that little section there is always so tricky on the suspension. I think we somehow turned the bearing around. That's another thing. If Scrap Mechanic developers are watching the video, I would love to see a little bit stronger bearings. I know that's been a complaint uh, amongst a lot of people. As far as the bearing strength, it would be nice to see a bit more on those. So anyways, let's go ahead and drive this thing around here. This is like the perfect section to take this thing off-roading in. I'd be speeding through here. I might need to set up a course or something. Maybe set up a rally track. I know a lot of people wanted to see something like that for like a multiplayer Monday which I'm not really 100% sure how to do that. I mean, I guess you could have two triggers with like a timer, and if anybody, everybody wanted to do like an individual run, you could do it like that. But I would like to do that in Scrap Mechanic. I feel like that could be very, very fun to do, and also create some more rally vehicles. So definitely, if you guys have any suggestions for any other vehicles, especially off-road-wise, since I'm playing with the Wishbone suspensions and stuff like that right now, I would love to hear your guys' feedback as to what you want to see. So... Look at this, getting over these jumps. 
I really love the way this uh, wishbone suspension works in the back. And up, oh, see if we can lock the camera here. Something about right there. You can really, it'll compress up and down. It's not moving too much right now. Let's go ahead and go to, let's go strict follow. See if we can get a better view of it. Got to pick up some speed. So yeah, you can see it working. Now I do have my suspension set really low, so it's not going to travel. Uh, it'll travel a lot in air, but it doesn't bounce a lot. Uh, when you're just driving around so if I were to kick those up I can always make it bounce a whole lot more but I like a low suspension setting it feels like the back end turns a lot better at a lower setting so anyways we're gonna turn over here I'm gonna go into the little bit more open area on the outer part of the map that way we can really let this thing wide open and show you what it's got over some high-speed bumps all right here we are on the outer part of the map we have a bit more space out here i did turn off the uh the back suspension is a bit stiffer so you're gonna see a little bit more movement out of the back especially when we take these corners you'll see the right side locked down and the left side's kind of carrying up i love the way the wishbone suspension works here in scrap mechanic i just wish it was a little less laggy uh, this actually isn't too bad it's really when you put it on all four corners when this vehicle turns into a total like 10 to 15 FPS ride and it's really quite unpleasant. Uh, we're gonna try it anyways here in a second because I absolutely love the way it feels. The front end digs in a bit more and it turns a bit better with the wishbone suspension. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a rock. It always looks odd when you hit the front of this vehicle because the cab is the way it is, uh, how it folds forward. It's, you can sit there and just bounce off a whole bunch of stuff. All right, we are picking up a bit of speed out here gonna try to let it go wide open now this is about as fast as it goes uh, this thing uh, the only way to achieve a faster speed is either to use a modded engine or we could try using some thrusters uh, it's just I don't know if it's just the weight of the vehicle itself which by the way actually isn't too heavy it's only got metal here on the bottom uh, oh oh that was a good two-wheeler <laughs> I really thought I was about to flip over there but yeah, it's got a metal strip down the bottom to keep that low center of gravity. Try to keep everything down low. That way it doesn't flip over because it is really tall. And it's got lightweight par parts at the top uh, to help with that. Oh, that flipping. That part right there. Ooh, it's like we just hit a little ramp there. Now, one good thing, when you hop out of this, if it flips over, for some reason it does pop you out of the side, which I found to be quite nice compared to a lot of things in Scrap Mechanic where you just get stuck inside of the creation. Let's go ahead and set that down one more time. Uh, let's see. Is that cab reset? Okay, there it goes. Uh, it looked like the cab was stuck inside of itself. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in here one more time. Give it one more little run, and then we're going to move over to the uh, one with the wishbone suspension on each corner. And which I hope we can at least drive it around just a bit, because I do want to show you guys that it does work, and it is fantastic. It's just the, uh, the whole fact of it is laggy, and I am afraid, especially if, if it isn't too laggy for you when you get into a multiplayer game, uh, anybody that plays Scrap Mechanic knows that when you get two vehicles together, if they've got a lot of bearings, the game just completely comes to a halt. But anyways, definitely a very fun vehicle to drive around. This one will be on the workshop. I will probably list it as Kamaz CG. I guess I'm going to actually put probably less laggy on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the laggy version of it on there too, just to show you guys how that one works. Uh, but yeah, here is the CG one. Let's go ahead and put that on the lift get rid of it let me go ahead and show you uh, once again here's the other one uh, this is just uh, the same one actually this is the four wishbone one we're gonna pull this out here in a second I've got so many of these things on my lift right now because I was experimenting with different uh, settings as far as the suspension so you've got a there's a normal one here somewhere it might be saved okay here it is this is just like the one that we just drove I'll put this one on here too it's got the Red Bull paint scheme or I want to call it the Red Bull paint scheme I know it looks a little funny because of the blocks but here is the laggy one this is the one that I wish would work correct um, let's go ahead let's shove it up here uh, let's start about right here uh, the only thing different besides the paint job which by the way came out pretty cool and no this isn't like a tribute to con or anything I just thought this was a, a cool paint scheme uh, they had one of these uh, posted as a picture on I don't know if it was the same race team or the same type of vehicle but it was something similar and it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Razor, like the keyboards and mouses, their colors and their schemes. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, the only thing different on this one is these wishbone suspensions in the front. Let's go ahead and put this off the lift there. See, it's already got a quite a bit more bounce to it. 
Uh, let's go ahead and hop into the uh, cockpit here. Nothing different as far as cockpit features. It's really just in the suspension itself. So yeah, let's go ahead and drive this one around. I'm say, I'd say I'm getting probably about 20 FPS with this one right now. Uh, not unplayable, but it's definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, this might not bother anybody else at all. I mean, this might be perfectly fine, but yeah, you can see that front wishbone suspension working. It's really getting some air. It's compressing a lot. It's moving around a lot. And this one tends to dig in a lot more and turn better uh, than the other one, unfortunately. But nonetheless, it is still awesome. Even though it's laggy, I, I still love it. It's a fun vehicle to drive. And I'm just in love with off-road vehicles like this. Yeah, a lot of times when you when everybody sees uh, what vehicles I cover, a lot of my viewer creations, I pick the off-road vehicles on purpose because I'm just in love with them here on Scrap Mechanic. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic. I hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, this felt a bit old school. I used to do really nothing but vehicle builds, and that is a tree. We're going to go ahead and back up before we hit that. So yeah, I used to do nothing but old school vehicle builds, and this kind of was a little bit of a throwback to that, uh, getting back into doing more of these. But like I said uh, at the beginning of the episode, we will be doing another themed world very soon. As many of you know, the underwater base has ended for now until we kind of figure out what's wrong with the world. I don't know if I hit a block limit or if I just completely ruined it. Something happened, uh, nonetheless. But yeah, we will uh, get back into doing a themed world. I'm still taking suggestions on that, along with more vehicle suggestions here in Scrap Mechanic. But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.